I spent 147 hours becoming the greatest at Bloons boss events while getting verbally assaulted by a mysterious commenter. I was supposed to be finding the Kudra mandible, but this leaderboard was in my dreams, with Morgan mocking me for not being number one. There were 22 monkeys in BTD6, and they fired all but five of them. The first is Morgan. He got in because he left a terrifying comment on Ninja Kiwi's video. The Ninja Monkey shares a name with the company who made the game. They allowed the Pirate Monkey to remind you that you can pirate BTD6 for free. The engineer was left in to remind you to get a real job instead of playing Bloons all day. Not gonna work on me. My self-respect depends on my place on this leaderboard. I'm not gonna use this guy so I don't have to explain it. Time to show you how I beat the boss faster than anyone else. I missed one balloon. The penalty timer is going up. Morgan, I thought you were good. Every time I get a penalty, I have to restart. First and second place are only six seconds apart. I need all the time I can get. Every time I do something wrong, I hear Morgan's voice. Not, not quite my tempo. For first place, I need a time of 2 minutes and 6 seconds. That's the total time the boss is on screen, which happens every 20 rounds starting at round 40. So for now, I just have to focus on amassing wealth. Last time I tried selling heroin by sea, but I'm landlocked here. So I tried a new kind of illegal piracy, selling movies online. Once I level my boat to a merchant man, he earns $220 each round. Are they dollars? What's the balloon currency called? Money. That's gonna sound grammatically incorrect every time. It's very important I buy absolutely nothing other than boats. I need to spend my money making more money, which sometimes means my defense is weak and I lose 66 centi seconds of time. It's fine, I'm not gonna get angry over that. If I only come second because of 0.66, Morgan gets my channel. Morgan is standing in ice without any clothes. What hits him is actually his inner burning rage at the balloons for not going straight down the path and doing this suboptimal loop to loop. I'm actually providing a very important service. Three families live here. The fireplaces are on, so people definitely live here, and it is my duty to protect them. I've expanded my pirate company to start selling handheld recordings of Marvel movies. Business is booming. And now on round 28, I sadly had to spend money on defense instead of more money just to pop lead balloons. What kind of helium can float lead? I'm starting to think this game isn't completely realistic. You might wonder how I'm going to get first place. What makes me better than everyone else? Well, there's a lot of skill in this balloons game. The exact pixel you place the boats will get you an extra few boats giving you thousands of money. But I'm bad, so I make up for that by clicking incredibly fast. This is true skill. Round 40 is the first tier boss. We sell our monkey boats to buy the strongest defense. I need a time of 25 seconds for each tier to get the record. I have 112,000 money. I can buy a version of Morgan that saw a bumblebee produce the wrong amount of honey and is now killing all bees. He's dressed up to camouflage. And Ninja with a scary mask can scare the boss away. Also, he brought TNT. Now here is the boss. Wait, I accidentally got the tower I said I wouldn't explain, I have to restart. Instead of restarting from round 1, if you escape to home, you can resume your game on the round you were up to, so I can sell all my boats again and buy a different defense. This time I got an even scarier mask, but it wasn't dying fast enough, and when the boss reaches 75% health on this skull, it stuns nearby towers. I need to kill it from far away. I kept trying different strategies for about half an hour, all while Morgan kept mocking me. You're rushing. Here we go. It's important because once I beat this, I can't go back. I have to continue to the next bosses and every second can help me. I found that the Master Bomber has infinite range, the Overclock Engineer can buff my other monkeys, and these guys are hiding in the corner to not get stunned. Then they got stunned. I finished it off with a time of 1 minute and 6 seconds, leaving me 15 seconds per boss from now on. NOT MY FUCKING TEMPO! I have to find a new strategy. I need to please Morgan. So I have applied for a job at Ninja Kiwi. I sold the towers that had fought for me and got an inside man who could download Marvel movies from the studio itself. Pirating high quality Thor movies made me hundreds of thousands of money. Also, the balloon trap engineer traps the balloons in a box, then takes their lunch money. Mmm, it seems I'm out of room to place the boats. Luckily, we found some uninhabited land that we can take control of. Rip. We got so good at pirating that we understood the movie business so well that we made our own movies. I let Morgan continue his massacre. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! I have created the ultimate pinball machine, the Apex Plasma Master. Oh, it's only degree 30. I have to escape to home and buy more sacrifices. The more eyeballs they have, the stronger they are. I personally keep a bag of eyeballs on me at all times. You can't ask where I got them. Spending my money on sacrifices gets degree 34, which isn't really worth it. I'm just going to go back to 30. It's not in range. He can't hit the boss. Attempt 5 of creating a single tower. There we go. That is a lot of damage. Sadly, after each skull, the boss has 5 seconds of invincibility. So I have to deal the damage almost instantly to be on time. No, I didn't escape and restart the level. The tower just has a teleport ability, and the boss is healing. Okay, I restarted like 10 times. I have to find the perfect spot that the tower is in range to fire, but not in range of the electric stunning blast. When I finally succeeded, my time was 1 minute 32 seconds. So I have 10 seconds for the next 3 bosses. Is that really the fastest you can play, you worthless Jaime fuck? 
No wonder mommy ran out on you. This is when I got accepted into Ninja Kiwi and started delivering lattes to the head birds. Wait, when did I get a three second penalty? I'm quitting. Morgan, you can play from now on. Morgan went on to create the greatest film creating studio in the world. We won 23 Oscars, 13 Emmys, and the Nobel Peace Prize. Our pirating company has been more successful than I could have ever dreamed. Though I think we are going against our own ethos. We're hunting down anyone that pirates our movies. It's time I admit something. I have a condition. No, it isn't ADHD like everyone in the comments assumes. It's paranoia. Paranoia that I am not recording this video. I have to check OBS every five seconds, literally. I usually edit it out, but I'm going to show you the truth. Look at this one minute of gameplay. I check if I'm recording, and again to be sure. Okay, now I can talk about this monkey. Wait, am I recording? Yes. Wait, what about now? Okay, it's fine. This guy is actually the most powerful monkey of all. His secret power is- Wait, am I recording? I played this game for hours every day to get top place. I am checking the recording literally thousands of times, and not once have I ever- Ever not been recording. Why am I checking? I'm just gonna skip to the boss fight anyway. So here we are on boss tier 3. The media company cured cancer with the quality of its movies. Time to sell it all. To create a party cruise ship, the M is for Morgan. That's how you know I'm not making up anything in this video, it's all canon. Or at least it will be once I rise through the ranks of Ninja Kiwi and change the law. Oh, the cruise ship doesn't deal much damage. I'm going to do a brand new strategy of doing the exact same thing as last time. It died with a time of 2 minutes and 2 seconds. Meaning we have to kill the last two bosses in a total of 12 seconds. <laughs> Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head? Are you flirting with me? I found the server room in Ninja Kiwi. I just have to learn to code to edit the game to give me an advantage. Once again, I went 20 rounds of checking the recording for no reason because I'm going to skip to the boss. This time, the party boat will support Morgan. Not that Morgan needs support since he is the most optimal creature in the universe. Wait, Morgan deleted his comment. There's a chance this is a child who made an innocent comment and I've been negatively exposing them to thousands of people. Well, he's part of the Dragoon Law now, no going back. Gotta check if I'm recording. You can see that it's 12 p.m. showing I have nothing more important in my day than reaching the top of this leaderboard. It was a bit of a mess, but Morgan killed the boss with a time of 2 minutes and 36 seconds. Which means I need to kill the final boss in negative 24 seconds. <laughs> Luckily, I took an online course and am starting to code a new secret into the game. I just need a little more time. For the final boss, I created a third paragon. The one named after the company that made this game, so it should be overpowered. The ninja throws a ton of shurikens and explosives at this floating balloon that did nothing wrong. It is completely innocent, but look how many eyes it has. We have to kill it before it realizes is how powerful it is and takes the world. Come on, give me time. I win! Victory! 3 minutes, 51 seconds. 30th place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference! Now that may seem bad, but that's only because I've been saying that I'll definitely get first place. If we look outward, tens of thousands of people play this game. I am 30th. That's pretty good. Who am I trying to convince? I can't value myself as a human without at least top 10. This comment said so himself. Morgan, what can I do? Be on my fucking time! Of course, time. I can code the time to be lower. Okay, so I accidentally actually coded in one extra dollar, uh, money, sorry, and, uh, That'll help, right? This is Geraldo. His name means rules by the spear. He's a traveling merchant that offers great discounts. Like if you buy two crossbows, you won't get stabbed by his spear. He offers 16 unique items. For a map with only five at four towers, this has to be useful. The first four give more regular damage, but I really only need money or boss damage. The Quincy action figure can make me money, but Benjamin was already making more. He was the one pirating half the movies. His paragon totem does improve the degree of my ultimate towers, but I'm not sure if 22,000 money is worth plus one green candy. Also, the penalty got to one second, I have to restart. On round 40, I have 76,000 money. We're 10 minutes into this video and I'm doing worse. I used a towel that I just can't explain, the aerodynamics are too complex, and a pirate boat that created a robotic Brad Pitt for more movies. They aren't killing it fast enough. Let's do it all again with Benjamin. While I get to round 40, I'd like to address that in my last balloons video, I spent 10 hours grinding a corn level to get a super rare achievement. That day, literally the same hour I uploaded my video, the company that makes this game released a daily challenge. Can you beat round 10 on Cornfield? If you beat this, you got the achievement that I spent 10 hours on. I got fired from my job trying to burn it down. To be fair, anyone could look up a tutorial on how to get it anyway, which is why I'm not looking at any tutorials for this boss top 10 spot. I'm figuring this out on my own. Okay, but this is a tutorial for the last Vortex boss, so it doesn't really count. Sticky bombs are one of the strongest things against the first boss, so I have seven of them. 
Oh, they don't- they don't stack. That's how you know I'm not looking at tutorials. Every time I restart, I have to sell every boat, then realize I wasn't supposed to sell one and do it again. After I beat the boss, I have to place them all back down. About half of this is dealing with boat positions. By using two overclocked bumblebee hunters and zero boomerang monkeys, I beat the boss in 53 seconds, 13 seconds faster than last time. It took me five minutes to get all the boats back in place, and I still missed a spot! That's going to cost me 820 money per round for 80 rounds, 65,000 money! I told you it was grammatically incorrect. At least I have zero power. Penalty. Boss 2, Apex kept my lead. Boss 3, I used Navark, which was probably a mistake. He can't fight and produce Slim Shady's next album. Yes, we're doing music now as well. Boss 4, Navark and Morgan shredded. Boss 5, I gathered all the scariest looking people and sacrificed them to my ninja. But they got stunned, so I restarted. I put the ninja far away since Sticky Bomb is infinite range, and I beat my record by two seconds. I've gone down one position. Other people have started beating my time. You fucking weepy willow shit sack. Maybe I should do some research, learn how to actually play this game. Or I could face my worst nightmare, the boomerang monkey. When I was a child, I won a boomerang from a raffle. It was my favorite toy. I could throw it, I could attack people. Then one day, a piano fell in. I never wanted to see one again. But I will use it or else Morgan will probably throw another piano at me. I bought Overclock Engineer on round 39 so it would be ready by round 40. The boomerang placed on this exact spot can reach the track without being stunned. If you overclock a tier 1 tower before upgrading it, it can last 5 times as long. He will attack faster for the whole boss fight. And a master bomber for more damage. Damage. Their teamwork made the dream work and they beat it in 46 seconds. That's the best possible. I'm calling it. If anyone beats the tier 1 in under 46 seconds, I'll find the Kudra Mandible. I'll do it. And then I bought more boats. This time our pirating company started our project on immortality. Our business has been mildly successful, but we've decided to not die anymore. After my amazing boomerang boss, the next couple bosses went badly. I was not going to beat the 2 minutes required for first place. Wait, the top 3 are around 2 minutes 10 seconds. Then 4th place is 2 minutes 40. That's such a big job. Either the top three are cheating, or they know something the rest of us don't. I need to experiment. Engineers do experiments, and even though I've played this game for 140 hours in the last month, I haven't unlocked the Engineer Paragon, who I played on the hardest map in the entire game, and unlocked the Master Builder, who only has destruction powers and can't build anything. I got to round 100 with a penalty of 46 centiseconds, so I'm a failure. I'm using the Master Builder, and it's not dealing much damage. What am I doing wrong? I'm not looking up a tutorial, I just really like the humor and entertainment of this no commentary, unedited clip of a top 40 boss run. Oh, I see. You have to self-destruct the turrets. They explode, dealing tons of damage. With this new strategy, I beat the final boss in 30 seconds slower than usual. Oh my dear. I'm down to place 41. More people are playing and I could lose top 50. So I played from round 1 to 80 again and bought the Engineer Paragon a round early to set up his 3 towers. Now for the new trick. I instantly sell a turret, knocking it back to the first skull. Then the second turret can go through the invincibility stage. But they can't be sold while they're stunned so I can't explode them. Unless... Geraldo sells a love potion that resets ability cooldowns. So using skills and timing you can get 4 explosions and insta-kill the boss. Well, some people can, I, I can't. I tried a few times but the problem is this sliver of health. The explosion only knocks it back to the next skull. If it was slightly higher degree, I could one-shot it. I kept trying this for a while. And by a while, I mean it's now 1am. By using a master builder for the small sliver of health and being patient for the skulls, I killed it in 1 minute 36 seconds. A new record for boss 3. Boss 4, the explosion wasn't quite as effective, but Morgan was there to help. I am on personal record pace. This could put me in the top 10 players. Instead of showing you the final boss, just look at Morgan's reaction. You're done. I placed them too close and they got stunned. So I started again from round one and killed the first boss in 45 seconds. Wait, no, no, I didn't mean it. I don't want to go back. Oh well, at least my movie studio has now been elected president of the world. Don't slow down. Morgan, I don't know if I can do it. Pick it up. I'm trying. Faster. I'm clicking as fast as I can. Come on, this is it. I used my ability to explode the first turret. Then saw the engineer himself, which explodes all three turrets, dealing enough damage at once to take the entire health bar. I beat the boss in seven seconds. You weren't a part. Time to do it again for the tier 4 boss. Oh, it has too much health. If I wait for the perfect time, I can get to this tiny amount of health, but then I have no towers that can finish it off. I also have to be quick to escape to home when I fail. If the round goes from 120 to 121, I can't get back to 120, which is annoying because you have to make the engineer one round early to set up the turrets. I could have spent a little more money to get him a higher degree and one-shot the boss, but I can't go back without doing it all again. To get the record, I do need this one-shot mechanic to work, so I have to start from round 1. My mic happened to be on at the time and it captured this noise from me.
Oh, boy. I played from round 1 to 40 again, but forgot to buy the overclock one round early, so that ability was lowered. I had to restart again! Oh, boy. Back to round 1. At least these guys are back alive. I had a perfect round 40, 45 seconds. I bought favored trades next to the bomber, which increased the sell price so I get an extra 4,000 money. I did everything else perfectly, skipped to the final boss, that's all that matters. And I beat it with 20 seconds better than my first attempt. Not. Good. Enough. I have to impress Morgan. I have to be his prodigy. It's time I truly explain these five monkeys. The reason you only get these five, and none of the others, is because they are the Paragons. They each have a special sixth tier upgrade, and I've been avoiding unlocking them all because it takes too much time. But I am desperate. After more grinding, I unlocked the Boomerang Paragon. I also realized I don't need Geraldo. The potion isn't helping me one shot, so I can go back to making money with Benjamin. So I did everything perfectly, just, just trust me. And with the new Glaive Dominus Boomerang Paragon monkey thing, I had a time of three minutes and 16 seconds. If I had got this at the start, I would be top 10. But now, 33rd place. Worse than my first attempt. This boss is for babies anyway. The normal Vortex boss? Easiest thing I've ever faced. The true challenge is on the Elite boss. If I can get top 10 in this, I am a true master. And the rewards go first, second, third, top 50. So technically, anywhere in the top 50 is the same as fourth. The Elite boss has 16 times more health, and the top times are around 10 minutes. The Elite Vortex has even more eyes. This is getting serious. These penguins are going to see some intense stuff. I started off with Morgan and spent all my money on boats. They can be my earning and my defense. An important factor is to make sure your defense is focused on the strong balloons instead of the first ones. Stronger balloons travel faster and can slip past quickly if you don't focus them. It's little tricks like that which make me the greatest balloons tower defense 6 player. I have a penalty. It's fine, we're on 10 minute times here. Half a second doesn't matter. Look how cool the boomerang monkey is. That's pretty awesome. Everything is going perfectly. That's not supposed to happen. How did I lose? The boomerang was set on strong, so it kept hitting the invincible boss and just let the other balloons go past. This is why I'm the worst balloons tower defense 6 player. I restarted and killed the tier 1 in under 2 minutes, with a reasonable amount of money to spend on my indie movie company that recently bought China. It may be elite, but Morgan still destroys the tier 2 by himself. It does take a while to get through the skulls though. I would usually one shot the tier 3 boss with the engineer, but I was struggling to insta kill the normal tier 3 with 300,000 health. The elite has 1.6 million, so Morgan can take it out while I amass wealth for the final boss. That's the only one that really matters with 33 million health. For killing the tier 3, I got 5 trophies. Wait, what are trophies? I can buy googly eyes for the balloons, or a cute fox pet. A rubber ducky pet. Aww. Do you think this is a game for children? This is serious, and I will not allow cosmetics to ruin the intensity of my experience. My pirating company is now drilling to the center of the earth to hollow it out and create a new land to live in away from pollution. This is it, the final elite boss. I have 3 extremely powerful paragons, and I put them all too close, and then I have to escape to home. Then I have to resell everything and buy 2 more paragons. I spent an hour reselling and buying trying to find the perfect place. Eventually I accepted that they have to get stunned at some point. I was perfectly in time for the 10th spot, but I lost. I didn't have enough damage to even beat the boss, let alone get on the leaderboard. <laughs> This is the guy who has top spot. He has beaten every map on chimps mode. He's been first in bosses 24 times. How can I beat this guy? His boat is named Some Grass. First name Go and Touch. I can't compete with that. At least I'm top 50 in normal, so basically fourth place. Wait, no, I dropped to place 51. I'm not good anymore. I need top 50 at the end of this. Uh, now we're gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm guessing most of you folks have heard. <laughs> So I played from round 1 to 120 all over again. I saved more money. I evicted the house owners before drowning. I placed my paragons in better spots. The fifth boss came and I had plenty of time. The boomerang monkey was throwing faster than the eye can see. I was clicking fast on absolutely nothing. It was down to the last skull, but the boss was leaving range. And then the answer came to me in silence. I realized what I had to do. I sold both paragons and created a new one on the other side of the map. It's so close. Come on, die! I win! With a time of 11 minutes, 59.95. 23rd place. One place higher than ISAB. A balloons YouTube with 500,000 subscribers. So I better have more than that many subscribers after this video.